Uh, good afternoon and welcome to Cooking Uncovered. My name is Miriam and welcome to my kitchen and this fabulous chocolate chip cookie recipe with a little twist. We're going to put a little oatmeal and we're going to toast them first. So stay tuned and I'll show you how this goes. It's so simple. First thing you do is make sure that your butter is very soft. So this has been on the counter for about four or five hours. You add your sugar, white sugar, and your yellow sugar, which gives this cookie an amazing, an amazing texture. So keep combining until you can the brown sugar and the white sugar disappears, and all you see is this beautiful buttery mixture, and it's all kind of mixed in. So to this, you want to add your one cup of flour. Now you can use half whole wheat and half all-purpose. I've just got all-purpose today. And one teaspoon of salt, so that goes in. Now, the big trick here is, of course, I have toasted, I've already baked my oats and my coconut. So my coconut and my oats go in, and I've just done that on parchment paper. Save the parchment paper, because you can actually bake your cookies on that after. So stir that in. To that, you want to add your vanilla and your one cup, uh, no, your one egg. So about a teaspoon of vanilla and your one egg. And stir that in. So what I've done here is switch to a wooden spoon and I just keep mixing it in. Of course, don't forget to add that baking soda, which is on our recipe. And remember, you can go to my blog, www.cookinguncovered.blogspot.com for a complete recipe. So there is the dough. That's the basic dough. Now, you ask yourself, what do you want to add? I'm going to add a half a cup of white chocolate chips today and a half a cup of semi-sweet dark chocolate chips, which will be amazing. Now, of course, if Christmas is coming up and you want to add cranberries, add those cran, um, cran raisins, they taste delicious, or raisins, or chocolate chip and raisins. There's so many uh, uh, varieties of things you can put into this recipe. Now, all you do is you take your portion scoop, and you portion these, and now you bake them. So you can take just a teaspoon, and with a teaspoon, just portion them out so they all look about the same size, and they go on your baking sheet. And here's my baking sheet all ready to go with my parchment that I used to uh, bake my oatmeal. So just portion them all off the same size, bake them in a 350 oven, and there you have your very simple, very delicious oatmeal coconut toasted chocolate chip cookies. So the cookies are out of the oven and they smell delicious. So folks, these are a very small version. So this would make you about three to four dozen cookies this size, which is, oops, this is hot, this size. But if you wanted a larger recipe, I have an immensely large recipe that I use at school. And the kids were asking for a copy of that recipe for home, but it makes 144 cookies this size. So I've adapted it so that I can give this to my kids at school. So this is for Patrick and Tamara and Penny and all those kids at school that just love this recipe. So one trick, after your cookies are out of the oven, just pull them onto the counter and get rid of the pan because the pan, the pan is kind of hot and they'll cool quicker and that means you can eat them quicker. And these folks are absolutely amazing. So with the milk or whatever, delicious. Thanks for joining me on Cooking Uncovered. Toasted oatmeal and coconut cookies. Delish.